Joining us, hopefully to help us, a life changer who specializes in parenting. Please welcome clinical psychologist and hopefully our new guru, Dr. David Swanson. Dr. David Swanson. Extra life changer, Dr. David Swanson. 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 Welcome back to our life changer panel. I, our... I, I've got a question for you. Yeah? I've got something that I'll bet Dr. Drew doesn't know. Okay. You a big David Cassidy fan? Not really. No. You're scared of though. Not even Can we when throw I was a the kid. picture up? Do we have a, oh, a copy of that? I found no. a picture. Oh, God. Of, look oh. at that. Look at that. That is beautiful. <laughs> I'll tell you how I got that later. You, you like my fashion sense? <laughs> That's the best that 1974 had to offer, Look I'm at telling the collars. You. Look at the collars. Look at that. Embroidery. Uh, looked like Sister Bertrill <laughs> ready to take off with that collar. <laughs> Strapping young man. Yeah, oh yeah. Now I see yeah. what Susan was after, you know? She no. Was... <laughs> it, Simone, you still hold by what you said about urging men to be like me? You Think of that. You know I'm loyal. Oh my She's goodness. Loyal. Thank you. I, thank you for abusing <laughs> me. I appreciate that. So, I want to thank all my life changers today. They are the best of the best. Family psychologist, Dr. David Swanson. I'm I'm getting I'm finding forgiveness for you. David Swanson is a clinical psychologist, father of three, and the author of Help My Kid is Driving Me Crazy, yeah. The 17 Ways Kids Manipulate Their Parents and What You Can Do About It. You'll hear some parents, and the more lenient parents, say, wait a second, I'm not going to set a curfew for my kids until they prove they need one. In, in, yeah. in other words, until they screw up. Yeah. Is that a good approach? No, it's a horrible approach. Why? <laughs> Curfews keep kids safe, so we want them back at a reasonable hour, but it says more than that. Let me give you an example. I'm working with a 17-year-old right now, and his parents were divorced some years back, and at this point, he wants nothing to do with his mother. And I ask him, I say, what, what happened? What, where, what went wrong? And he says, well, I never felt she cared about me. And the example he uses over and over and over again is the idea that she didn't care when so he came around who says you don't have a curfew because I trust you and I know you're a responsible individual is doing a disservice to the child? Well, I wouldn't say she's doing a disservice, but I say, I'm saying that she's exposing that child to an unnecessary safety risk. I mean, we both have kids, and I'm going to ask you, what good comes about for any kid outside of the home after 11 p.m.? Well, There's the, nothing the, out there the, for I, nine, Mine are 9, 6, and 3. They're not out here at 11 they're o'clock. Not, yeah. I consider myself a workaholic. My average work week is 16 hours a day. I think my mom loves work more than my family. We're at risk of losing him. We may have already lost him. I mean, I don't know how to fix it. You have a choice. And it's, it's very simple. You can be a part of a family or you can be a part of that salon. And there's no in between. Yes. When I was talking to Dr. Swanson, it felt like I had somebody on my side. It feels like my prayers have been answered. And I thank the Lord for it. You actually listen to me. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Before the show, we went to your house. You did? We did. And we thought it would be really fun to interview your kids and see how well you could predict their answers. And we're going to see that right after the break. Oh, it's like the movie like that. <laughs> we're going to play a little game, Lisa. OK. Like I said, we went to your house before the show. And we asked your kids a couple of questions, and we wanted to see how well you could answer them. OK. All right, you yeah. ready to play? I'm ready to play. All right, well, listen, the first question we asked your kids, you're going to love this one. Uh-huh. Who's meaner, mommy or Cruella de Vil? I'm going to say mommy. <laughs> Thought writing on this. We got uh, big prizes. Not good, but good. You know, okay. Big. Yeah, not good, but big. <laughs> Let's Mommy. see what they had to say. Okay. Oh, God, I'm so scared. Cruella de Vil. Cruella de Vil. Mommy. <laughs> Which twin was that? Don't, don't run the tape again. I want an instant replay. <laughs> yeah. He's so, going right in the veal cage. Yeah. <laughs> but the next question had to do with... How does mommy punish you? Oh. This is where I kill the puppies. <laughs> yeah. What do you think they said? How do I punish them? I hope they said the naughty chair. The naughty chair. Yeah. Let's let's see what they said. 
give us time out. Spank. I do not spank. He's clearly confused. Great. I really have gained a lot of respect for you as a mom. You do a great job with those Thanks. kids. And I, I should also that. say, I should also say that I have, I've had the opportunity to be to her house, and those twins are the ones I met, and they are so sweet. They kept rubbing spit on my face, but they're really, <laughs> really sweet. That's how they show they like you. <laughs> Last like question. So scared. Why yeah. do you like spending time with your mom? Why? Okay. What do you think they said? I guess they're terrified of me. It sounds like why. <laughs> Hopefully, because they think I'm crazy and silly. Let's ask the experts. Okay. Right. Never have a dull moment with my mom. Yeah, she's 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 crazy. I mean, in a good way. <laughs> my favorite thing my mommy does is bring toys. <laughs> she takes us to adventures, <laughs> and she does everything. She knows everything. Is that what he said? <laughs> she knows everything. She knows everything. Aww, I'm gonna bring them stuff.